Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Sad Knight. This is Sats Creed Valhalla, and we're actually at the Utgard. Uh, yeah, we're actually at Utgard right now, which is the like capital city, I guess, of Jotunheim. And we're gonna go deal with the. Oh yeah, I guess we're gonna speak with uh, Sutunger. Sutunger, and we're gonna deal with uh, getting access to the mead. Survey the area. Yeah, it's right there. So in the original version, I know that Thor, yeah, not Thor, uh, Odin ch changes into a, a snake, uh, burrows into the hole that actually contains the his daughter and the mead. He transforms back. She offers him three sips for three nights um, of brushing hair, guys. And after they brush each other's hair for three days and three nights, wink, wink. Um, oh, there he is. He takes three big gulps, not three big sips. He transforms back, and when he comes out the other side of the snake, he transforms into an eagle, and he dips, and uh, Suthinger transforms into a, like another bird type thing and chases him down too. You are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sutunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gumluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast, if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence. But you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. Ooh. If the sagas have anything to tell about it, it must means that she's hot. Alright, where's she at? Way up there, huh? What do you see, Zunin? Okay, she's over there. Yeah, let's go. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to like semi-follow him. He said I'm safe in his presence, but he walks so fast because he's so big. Hey, I got stubby little legs, bro. Oh, okay, now you definitely go under protection. Me. Oh. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Right there in the stone of circles. Got it. Mm -hmm. Ah, my legs! Here's the stone circle. No way into the sanctum. Another illusion. Okay, I see the thingies. Oh, there you go. I see him. Way inside is revealed. Aha! Uh -huh. I do love that mechanic. It's pretty tight. Yep, she was in some type of burrow underground. So now that this is their version in, in this story. Nice, I like it. Is there a bunch of entries all over the place from her? I think so. Not just here, I'm talking about like around the, the whole world area. Okay, I can, I can, oh, I can't attack. I was gonna break those. Gunlula, what is this place? 
Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. I am intrigued. Who are you? Let's go back. Let's go back. I want to. This knife cuts deep and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It, it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? <laughs> I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. That's interesting. My father was a thrall. This is my wife. Our children. I like that he was like this deep and poetic way of saying that it's cold outside. And she's like, it's cold outside. <laughs> that was pretty cold. I'd say yeah for a giantess, you know, I guess, you know, for for a giantess, you know, she, she alright. She alright. I can see uh I can see Javi uh, brushing some hair with her. Not too bad. Ooh, split skull with some gems inside. The vault, That's cool. Wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. She's so just gonna show me all the lore stuff while we're walking by? Cool. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. I've learned to not rush past them too much because they're wanting you to hang by and hear stuff. I was falling a little bit behind there for a second. For so long, we made magics there in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. Ooh. Is the, uh, the wind and snow Icelandic have compass? gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Known as a beg Vesir. She's got a tattooed on her chest, too, actually. It's pretty cool. Made in between the... Uh, I think most stuff that comes from that era is like between 15th to 18th century, somewhere around there. Harvey, 
Your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutunga. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? Harvey <laughs> fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment. Enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Javi, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend! <laughs> I am a Yotnar Slayer! Okay, maybe not that one. <laughs> I'm a mighty warrior. I think the Weaver of Tales is the best way to go for an uh, introduction for him. I am Harvey, deft of tongue and quick of wits, here to spin you a tale. Yeah, definitely a good choice. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. Oh, mighty warrior might have been the way. Is this like a, you could get this right, but you could get it wrong. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor. For I know that none feast nor fight like Yotna. Your words are well chosen. Good to drink in. I think that's the right answer. I'll, I'll praise the king, dude, real quick. I offer a toast to Great Sutunga. They do not love me as much as they love to feast. Ah, just to drink in. We'll drink deep and eat heartily. I don't know Let if it actually affected anything. Feast begin. The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. Ah, uh, okay. There was a, a way to maybe make it better. Right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. No guests in the kitchen. Out. I knew that was coming. Avi, show us your might. Beat the champion, and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Uh-oh. Do not uh. mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. It's the Utgard feast. Uh, yeah. If she is truly your champion, it, then so be it. It's time. She's gonna I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Don't be shy. Place your fist against the champion. Yeah. Don't be scared of that crumble. <laughs> this is even a little easier than I expected. Indeed, you are mighty. 
You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink <laughs> to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. This is cool. I like this. The need is half gone. The Nagir's cauldron can be drained. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? Come, give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? Agir, mighty friend to the Asid. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Dang. Last time I Feeling for a gear over here. Try the archery contest. No doubt they will toast my prowess if I succeed. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Yeah, Show let's me go. those targets. Then take a drink and let fly. You look a bit wobbly there. Careful. Fine shot. Now have a drink and try another. Oh, okay. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bowl. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold. That was actually really easy. Okay. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink where others lose their eye. Another round? Uh, not for me. My belly royal is like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Sutungar will open his vault. Loki? Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Uh, forgive me. I, I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Is that Loki there? Surely he would not dare. Gunlotha looks glum, and she has not touched a drop of mead. You're not drinking, Gunlotha. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call facts. those people drunks. <laughs> also facts. I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. Whoa, that was an intense riddle. I uh, call it easy. Uh, I had before speech it will inspire speaking uh Is it courage? I wanna... Could you give it to me again? Oh. Would that I had now what I, I had, had yesterday. yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. Oh, it said, but speak it will hinder, but uh, but speech it will inspire. It's ale. It is ale, of course. A child could have solved that one. Oh, hurt my feelings. Would you like another? <laughs> yeah, of course. All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. Has 
two mouths. The fact that it says the two mouth part makes me want to say a river. Hmm. Say it again. I think I will need to hear that again. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road, hard road. and has fared that way before? That he way before. kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. Hard road, uh, hammers hit steel, which is hard. River is over on a rocky path. It's been that way before. Hammer is repetition. Rivers constantly flow. I'm overthinking this. It's definitely, I don't think it's arrow at all. Um, two mouths. Rivers can split, but hammers have two sides. Kisses on two mouths. And then the, the hit would be like a kiss. It, I have uh, some. Hither's on gold, which is payment. Okay. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. The first one was hard haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. What? Holy. Okay, white haired woman. Swans are white, snow is white, old age is white. Okay. Uh, did not beat it. Uh, snow on trees is naturally pr uh, produced by fall. Eggs. Uh, swans and eggs. Yes, yeah, swans produce eggs. Oh, uh, old age is over time. Hmm. One more time. White haired women. Too Servants soon. too. Bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Outside of the islands? No hand turned it, stuff like that. Okay, yeah. Two women ale to the larder. Two women. Hella is half dead, half alive, which is concepts of age, uh, going old and dying. Snow represents, uh, represents death in the too. It's gotta be old age, right? Oh, you can only repeat one time. I realize I can't do it again. Hmm. Outside of the island. That's the weird part. Outside of the island. Islands don't have snow. It's gotta be old age. Old age is the answer. Old age? I think age is slowing your brain. Ah. The answer is swans and eggs. It was a swan with the well, egg. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel a little better. You are kind to attend to me, Javi. Most have given up trying. That was the other one I was what thinking of. What can I do to get them to drink faster? Yeah. I definitely wasn't thinking of snow as much. Like, in the beginning a little bit, but yeah, not, not too much. Dang, she got me. 